there is a tax case that has been brought in relation to the petroleum agreement. If that case succeeds, then what would happen? Instead of the government paying the taxes for the oil companies, the oil companies will have to pay as much as 40% of their income as taxes to the government of Guyana. That's what the consequence of that case is going to be. And my own view is that there is a lot of merit in that case. In fact, I think, I think it shows the recklessness with which and the gay abandon with which that contract, the petroleum agreement, was negotiated. So maybe by default, Exxon will have to come to the government now, whoever the government is, and say, look, you know what? I'd like to talk about, I would, I would like to talk again about this contract. Because if they don't do, and they're not protected by the stability clause, the stability clause only deals with changes in law, not interpretation of law by the court. So they can't hide behind the stability clause. They, this is going to have a significant impact on, on Exxon, Sinop Nexon, and yes, as you know, Darren Wood is coming to Guyana. It shows you how important Guyana is to Exxon. And it's unfortunate, I, I'm talking about some of my colleagues, top lawyers don't want to touch the case. They said, you know, we got to get, because we have to make a living. That's the trouble with Guyana. But I think renegotiation, not because of government or because of the oil company, but because of a decision of the court in what to me is a very clear case. Are subcontractors allowed to get concessions? No, they're not. It's only available to the holders of production sharing agreements. Can you pay taxes for, for the oil companies? No, you cannot. You can waive taxes, but you cannot pay ta their taxes. Those are some very simple issues in my view. And I think the decision of the court in that matter, and the case comes up for the first time on March the 10th, could be very, very significant. To all those who are running and hiding behind sanctity of contract, etc. That's my contribution, ma'am. Thank you, Chris. I see hands going up. I'm going to say right now, we're not taking any more.